So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Players stand shoulder to shoulder in singing the national anthems. A moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. I think we can have a look at the starting lineups now. So off we go then. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Looks to clip it forward. Oh, he's made sure that that won't get through. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Wanyama hoists it high, chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there, and the weighted pass. Lobs it in gently. Chance! Can he score? Oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Going 
time for goal. There it is. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Steered forward. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. So, they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Where to from here? Wanyama. Now the pass. Has a hit! They've done it! And they are disappearing out of sight! Are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Looks to slip it through. Dinks one in. Passes it through. He's got options out wide. Hits it! Boots it to safety. Looks to thread it through. There's the delivery. Away from immediate danger, and he's cut it out. And that's a throw in. Well, try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area.
Tries a through ball. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Tries lifting it over. And he heaves it forward. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Plays it out to the wing. Floats one over. And the ball is out of play. Steered out wide. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Referee's had a good look and given a corner. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Tries to stroke it through. Looks like a good ball through. And that'll be the last act of the first half. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence a change somehow, but don't hold me to it. It has been a remarkable contest, decorated by goals, and two between them at half-time. And we're underway again. Changes made by neither side, from what we understand. Looks to slip it through. Looks to dink one in. And he's there to cut it out. Knocks it away. Tries lifting it over. Up to meet it! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Comes under pressure and it's come loose. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play.
They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming. Sixty minutes played. It's a loose ball. Aimed long and direct. Gets wrestled off the ball. You would think the first substitutions will be coming up pretty soon. Wanyama. Hoists it high, cuts it out. And a goal kick. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Lobs it in gently. Oh, good interception. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Wanyama. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Long and high towards the flank. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Out wide to the right. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's hoisted clear. Good clearance and very necessary. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. That's a brilliant interception. Ahead by two, and just about into the home straight. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Tries a through ball. Aimed in towards the centre. That intervention was very necessary. Forward it goes. He's got it, and he's got time. Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy.
Shot at goal! That comes as a mighty relief. Goes for goal! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there too. And time is up. Well, the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening. Thank you.